And yep, looks like the, the snow is almost all gone. Watch me just say this and then tomorrow we're gonna get hit for the blanket of snow again. Although I actually don't mind it, I actually gives some nice scenery, something different. There's so much clouds today in the sky. I guess you wonder if you can film just without the filter, but then I usually use the regular CP when I find it gives you a better effect. I was kind of surprised how interesting those thermal camera images turned out yesterday just with the people jumping in the pools or when the water splashes on them because it's so cold you can see the clear difference in terms of the temperature. I think it was kind of neat to have that perspective. Did some drone talking today too, it was kind of neat. Basically kind of hearing what people think are going to be the big things I guess during 2018 tech-wise, fears and all that. And one thing came up about this actually when I'm doing the vlog is that you guys would actually be interested in I guess finding out more about the exact places that I actually walk through all the time because you guys aren't actually there. It makes me wonder what would I do when I'm walking by a certain place and in the video this image or whatever pops up here. I'm in this area right now. Here's the history behind it. I think maybe I should fly the thing now before the light goes too dark. You can usually probably do it with a higher quality drone with a better sensor and everything but this one can't handle the dark too well. That was some interesting flights with the mist. I actually wasn't expecting it. Makes me think it would have been better on the other angle, but got what I got just because I didn't want to risk it with the light dying too fast. For stuff I read today that was kind of interesting, I read this one about drones and someone getting a PhD with it. At first it made me wonder why was that so significant in any way. I guess here it says here, Canada's drone racing king doubles as McGill PhD candidate. Is it a little odd for people I guess that someone who flies a drone perception wise normally it'd be more for a hobbyist, a speed thrill racer, like you don't usually associate that with I guess when you say PhD you think someone really intelligent and smart so I guess that's kind of a interesting topic for a lot of people which is kind of odd to me because people who fly drones from what I see come from all types of backgrounds. It says here the guy Gabrielle is a two-time Canadian drone national champion and he's leading the pack in the ever-growing drone racing world. Although it says here for the type of drones he flies, they're really fast, they're not meant for like the stuff like that I buy for example for videography and stuff like that. It says the drones are very different, the drones are fast and they're not really toys. It makes me wonder again, what do you consider as a toy drone, like where do you draw the line? Does a I don't know, a DJI Mavic or a Phantom, is that considered a cult toy? Is it based on speed, for example, when you consider things a cult toy, or is it more about the size and the weight? That's gonna be kind of interesting, especially when they come up with those new regulations, like here in Canada anyways. In terms of what he's getting his PhD from, it says he's a candidacy at the McGill University in material science and theoretical physics. With drones basically I guess with how well he's doing there with I guess with people like the drone racing league I guess he's considering once he finishes that does he pursue that or go with the drones Sounds like to me he's gonna go with the drones if he's not passionate about it I love reading about topics like diversity of this especially with this as comment This comment made me actually really happy in terms of the drone footages that I uploaded Because my hope is people have you know a different perspective and it takes kind of a different person for each individual Someone might be able to relate with a faster drone flyer where someone might be able to relate with something more I guess calm and so forth. So this comment here when like I watched the video he says all I can say is wow very nice work Drones are a great tool. You sir are an artist you know, when he said that saying drones are a great tool, that was kind of my hope when people watch that video. is not just about necessarily the stereotype for some reason that people that fly that, they always fly these super fast stuff. They're so dangerous. Like, you know, go fly in your little corner. Like, don't even bring it to a place like this. Whereas a person like me, I capture it for video. So it's a different type of usage for it. And that's my example too why it's great to have diversity because people connect in different ways. And as well, I think it'll be kind of an interesting test. I think a lot of these blurry lines with this stuff has to do with the mist as well. I guess it's confusing kind of the heat. So I thought it'd be an interesting test as I walk. Yeah, it seems like it's fighting the heat a bit. Although it'll be easier to tell with the animals as well, the ducks and stuff are there. I was trying to meet some new people too as part of my goal. Funny enough, the new person I met today had apparently like a drone and a VR company. It's kind of funny how that works. Well, that still is in my thoughts right now in terms of how I could actually, I guess, talk more about the places I walk through usually. I don't know, to me it's just a little odd because I see it every day so I don't know how to explain it in a 
tourist way how people who don't live there here would actually be interested in it. Maybe people will kill me for saying this, but it's kind of like I've actually never been to like Toronto before. But some people say like if you go in the city there, you go in the city here, it's a city, so there's not too much of a difference afterwards. <laughs> and all people are probably going to say, no way, it's so different this and this. But my point is basically like what is it that I could show in that way to make it, I guess, I guess in a fun and entertaining or educational way as well. The fact I learned about this place, why there's so much open field, apparently this used to be a prison way back. What do you think of that? I would imagine this used to be some kind of, I don't know, farming field or something like that. Nope, it held prisoners. What do you think about yesterday's video with the thermal camera? I noticed as I was editing it, the people behind me, they're like gawking at it. Like, what is this? <laughs> this looks so neat. Uh, that's, that's what, that's what kind of gets me interesting things like, again, like the drones and stuff like this. It's all about kind of giving people a different perspective. Ducks lined up there? Wow. I guess they're all kind of stuck because of the frozen parts of the lake. I hear voices. Yeah, that works seeing right through the fog and the little trees. That's kind of neat. See you guys later.